Voracious readers on a budget have many ways to satisfy their desire for books. Hundreds of online book communities trade and give away books, release them into the wild, or organize local meetups. Learn about all these options, plus a few ways to find books through face-to-face -face interaction. So, we are going to watch about the how to get free books. Method 1. Getting free paper books. First is trade books online. There are several well-known sites dedicated to trading books. Here are a few options. Join a books by mail site such as Bookmooch, What's on my bookshelf, or Paperback Swap. You mail out books to other users, earning points to request books for yourself. Sign up for Book Crossing to join a worldwide community of readers passing on books from hand to hand. To avoid long-distance postage, search online for country-specific sites such as BookSwap Australia or the UK's Read It Swap It. Step 2 Join General Giveaway Websites These aren't limited to books, but that doesn't mean you can't find readable treasures. A few options include, joining a local free cycle to find free things in your neighborhood. Title Trader for Books, Films, and Music The free section of sites such as Craigslist, Yerdal, or Freely Wheelie. Be cautious and meet strangers in public during the day. Step 3 Organize Your Own Book Swap if you have extra books, invite friends and family over to trade for them. It's best to trade all books one for one, regardless of value. This keeps things friendly and focused on good books, not good deals. Step 4 Dumpster Dive at Charity Shops Charity shops and thrift shops often have giveaway bins of stuff they can't sell. If you're lucky, you might live near a shop that gives books away, such as Book Cycle in the UK. Step 5 Find Public Bookcases the Little Free Library project has been spreading miniature book-filled houses across many lawns and sidewalks. Many of these are registered on the project's online map. Cafes, libraries, and college campus buildings have been using this public bookcase idea for much longer. But most of these can only be discovered by word of mouth. If none of your bookworm friends have discovered these, try finding an online forum for your neighborhood and asking about them there. Starting your own is a great way to collect books and meet other readers in your area. If you live in an apartment building, ask your landlord if you can put a bookcase in the lobby. Step 6 Keep an eye out for book giveaways Authors sometimes give away their books as a promotion, or in trade for a public review. You can find these most easily on large book community sites such as Library Thing and Young Adult and kids books central. The hashtag Amazon giveaway Twitter hashtag usually has several book or ebook giveaways going on. View it live instead of top to see all recent results. Small blogs host these contests as well. But it's not worth tracking them down unless you follow the blog already. Look through book blogger directories online if you're interested in hearing from authors, reviewers, and other people in the book world. Step 7 Get the most out of your library If you think you've exhausted your local library's supply, talk to a librarian. Most libraries let you order books from other branches, or borrow online content using your library card. You can request a specific book from the head librarian or a friend of the library organization. Depending on budget, the staff may be willing to purchase that book for the collection, and let you know when it arrives. Finally, volunteer in exchange for books. If you know someone with a full attic or garage, offer to organize it in exchange for books you find in the process. Bookstores and libraries may also be willing to give you overstock for a few hours of shelving. Method 2. Finding free ebooks. First is find a free e-reader for the computer. Many ebook sites offer computer-friendly file formats, but reading PDFs or text files can be a pain. If you don't have an e-reader device but do have a computer, try these free options. Download FB Reader to read all common ebook formats, including EPUB and Mobi. The Mac version is incomplete as of February 2016. Download Adobe Digital Editions to read the EPUB format. Read Kindle, Mobi format, ebooks using Kindle Cloud Reader, Kindle for PC, or Kindle for Mac. Step 2 Browse Free Ebook Collections There are dozens of online databases dedicated to free ebooks. These often focus on new, unknown authors, but there are exceptions. Many books, net, get free books, and free ebooks, net are just a few places to start. Step 3 Search in copyright free collections. The most famous of these is Project Gutenberg, with its massive collection of public works. 
the Internet Archive, Read Print, Bomb, Europeana, and Digital Public Library of America are similar projects. If your country has strict copyright laws, it is possible that a work may still be illegal to download in your country. For example, Project Gutenberg Australia includes some works which are still copyrighted in the EU. Step 4 Check the free sections of ebook stores. Almost all ebook stores have a free section, including the Amazon Kindle Store, Kobo, Nook Books, and Google Play Books. Less well known options include Smashwords, a popular indie publishing site, and Feed Books, an ebook store aimed at mobile devices. Finally, borrow ebooks from your library. More and more libraries are providing free, temporary ebook downloads, straight onto a personal device. Check with your library to find out if it uses the Overdrive app or another system. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.